Well, moving on uh, to this now. If you're watching The Bachelor, then you know the name. Jillian, that Arlington resident, has made a name for herself on this season as the outspoken gym junkie. Well, last week uh, she did not get the rose after a rather awkward one-on-one -on -one date. Uh, today she's telling Audrey Godfrey all about it, specifically what you don't get to see. Jillian. Sorry. 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 This wasn't the falling in love Jillian Anderson had in mind when she signed on to The Bachelor. But seeing it now, she's taking it well in stride. And I take two steps, I'm like, you know what? Julia was behind me. It sounded a lot more like Julia. And then at that point, I hit the rug, and I just, and it all, in my head, it was so slow motion. And I remember just grabbing my knees and, like, shutting my eyes and laughing so hard, I did not want to open my eyes again. The 25-year-old Arlington resident has been a standout this season, painted as the competitive weightlifter whose um, assets were a little too hot for TV. And now the infamous black sensor box has become a part of her persona. I did have a normal bikini bottom on, but I have this box that has been required to be with me ever since I started working out. A longtime fan of the Rose Laden reality show, Anderson signed up on a whim, but says it was one of the best experiences of her life. The filming was long, one week of filming for each one hour episode, and the women are sequestered the entire time. No phones, TV, music, magazines, or newspapers. In the end, Chris Souls didn't see a love connection, but this bachelorette says we at home didn't get the full picture of that uncomfortable date. It was awkward. I mean, it was awkward, and I felt it then. I don't feel like it was always one-sided because I wouldn't stop talking. I think it was one-sided because there just there wasn't okay. uh, chemistry. But, but what the audience did see of Jillian, they liked, as did producers. So could this bachelorette be back on your TV anytime soon? Well, in her words, stay tuned. Audrea Godfrey, ABC 7 News.